Coach, after what was obviously a tough loss in Camrose, what kind of things did you see in that game in Drumheller uh, that were starkly different from that game in Camrose that brought this team back to the winning ways that had been working for the last few months? Uh, I don't know if there was anything that was, was tremendously different. I think that our, our guys executed for 60 minutes. Um, we had a great start in Camrose, obviously a 4 nothing lead, and uh, we just watched it dwindle away as the game happened. Uh, special team-wise, we took care of things a little bit better, and I uh, just thought all in all we played a better 60 minutes. After that loss, did you almost see it as at all a teachable moment for this team? And was there any value in it in your mind that some of the players you got at the cut-down date, guys like Landon Willicola with Ty Mapp and Garrett Houston, obviously, too, and for the first time they experienced the, the pain of a loss with this team? Yeah, I mean, it was going to happen at some point. We weren't going to win the whole way out. Um, I think the way it happened is what we have a problem with. Uh, being up 4 nothing and losing 5-4, regardless of how the goals went in, um, that, that's always going to be a tough thing. So it, it's not that we lost, it's how we lost. And I, I think for the guys just to, to learn the lesson of foot has to stay on the gas, we got to continue to play the same way no matter what the score is. Did you feel that with how tough it was in that game in Drumheller, more post hits than you've probably had in a single game this year, Kale McCarr might have had a five goal night if not for some bounces. Uh, did you like the way that the team didn't let up uh, despite the fact that puck luck didn't seem to be going their way? Yeah, I mean, I think it was a tough game for us. At, you know, at a point in time, we're up one nothing. Uh, we score to make it 2 nothing. Uh, it's called back. They end up, or we end up with a power play. They score a shorthanded goal. It, it would have been an easy time for us to kind of fold and, and I guess to, to succumb to circumstances. And I thought we, we did a good job just sticking with the plan, doing the same thing that got us to that point in the game where we were you know, badly outchancing them, just not outscoring them. And I, I thought we stuck with it. One of the things that was very consistent between the two games is the efficacy of the line of Ty Mapp and Landon Wellicalawa and Logan Mick. Mapp and uh, goals in two straight. Uh, Logan Mick now four assists in his last two games and Landon Wellicalawa on a six-game point streak. How much better are these guys now as compared to when they first came into this bandit system? Yeah, I mean, I think they're playing well. I think it's just about details, habits, learning to do things the way we want them done. And as a line, obviously, they've got some chemistry going and we're, we're going to keep them together and hopefully they can just r ride this out. Um, you know, some power play time together this weekend, and hopefully we can make something like that work. Their uh, success certainly has shown off the offensive depth of this team, but does it concern you at all that some of the guys that were putting up cartoonishly high numbers over the last few months have uh, sort of fallen a little bit lower down on the stat sheet, or much like the winning streak, was that just bound to happen when guys are playing this well? There are going to be some nights where the pucks don't always go in. Yeah, I mean, I, I think for everybody to, you know, to be consistent all year long in terms of being on the score sheet, it, it's not attainable. Um, that's why we wanted to create depth at all positions and I think right now we're seeing that where you know one one line's hot for a few weeks and then it kind of shifts over to somebody else and and nobody's playing poorly and different lines are scoring every night um, and I think that's the biggest thing for us is just making sure that everybody contributes much like the game against Camrose, we get an opportunity here this weekend coming up with two straight games against Canmore for your new guys to see an opponent they haven't seen, at least not in a Bandits uniform. Uh, the first home and home with Canmore right at the start of the year was absolutely dominant for you guys. Still three out of four points in the second home and home, but it was a much closer set of games. What kind of game, a set of games, do you expect from Canmore this weekend? Uh, I think it'll be tough. I mean, uh, obviously, everybody that's playing us right now uh, you know, our guys have done the work to become first place, so everybody gets excited to play us. Um, Canmore's a team that's struggled in the second half of the season so far, but I think at any point in time, they're bound to turn it around. They've got a great group of players. Uh, I think their forwards are as good as anybody's, and we need to be sharp and have a good weekend. Uh, and if we want to find four points this weekend, we're going to have to be very good.